Hello dear ladies and gentlemen welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i'm gonna show you how you can build your own induction heater using very few component in easy step as i inserted this metal inside the working coil of the induction heater the temperature of metal inside the coil get increase and iron become red hot as i put this iron inside the water then its temperature suddenly cool down is this possible to make by ourselves at home let's learn it in detail and watch till end let's get started Please check circuit diagram below the description box if you want to learn this circuit in details. Before making an induction heater, you need to build a working coil or you can say resonance coil. I use 1mm wire but you can also use 2mm wire for the better performance of the coil and the diameter of the working coil is calibrated by the battery as shown here. Total ton of the working coil is 11 ton. And 5 to 5 ton beside and on for the center tapping that's become 11 ton this is n channel mosfet i use two number of n channel mosfet in my induction heater circuit i use this irf z44n n channel mosfet which can handle circuit current normally if your circuit consume more current then you can use more MOSFET on parallel, isn't it? This is power diode IN 4007 and I connect inner terminal of this diode to get terminal of MOSFET and cathode terminal of diode to drain terminal of next MOSFET and again I connect inner terminal and cathode terminal in similar manner to the next MOSFET. After all, my circuit look like pretty good, isn't it? To support my creation, please hit like button below. This is copper wire, which I get from wiring wire. And we have to sort both terminal of this MOSFET. This is 5 voltage regulator IC, LM7805. Connect pin number 2 of this regulator IC to the copper wire that I connect source terminal of both N channel MOSFET. The resistor value of 560 ohm that connect between 5 voltage output from regulator IC and gate pin of each MOSFET. Similarly, we must connect 560 ohm resistor again to pin number 3 of regulator IC and gate pin of next MOSFET. As always, for power functioning of the circuit, we must connect 10 kilo ohm resistor to the ground and input pin that is get terminal of n channel mosfet as we already know there is two n channel mosfet thus pull down resistor must be connected on the both n channel mosfet while selecting pull down resistor never choose value lower than pull off resistor for better performance we must add high value of resistor as pull down resistor During operation of induction heater, N channel MOSFET get drastically heated. That's why we need to add some heat sink on MOSFET to radiate excess heat. 
and copper wire is attached on heat sink which act as drain terminal of each MOSFET. As doing this, we are able to get two drain terminal of both MOSFET. Now this ZBS circuit get completed, but we must add main part of induction heater for working. Now many people do mistake during building LC resonating tank and selecting impedance matching coil. This is 11 ton working coil. I have one mm wire to make this working coil of the induction heater. But for the better performance, you must use two mm wire for the working coil. And total ton of this working coil is 11 ton, 5 ton beside and 5 ton beside on for center tapping. And this center tapping which is connected to the impedance matching coil. This resonance circuit is incompleted with capacitor, isn't it? That's why I add 22 nanofarad capacitor parallel to working coil. While selecting capacitor, you must select capacitor of higher voltage rating because excess voltage built across this capacitor. Again, you must connect impedance matching coil. You can choose inductor value from 50 micro henry to 200 micro henry coil for this purpose. After connecting all the required component in this circuit, we must connect voltage supply greater than 12 voltage DC. The performance of induction heater will be better when you use or operate it with battery otherwise you must use suitable power supply for this purpose when i inserted conducting material inside the working coil of this induction heater then temperature of this conducting material get drastically increased what is reason behind it a reason is very simple it is due to the magnetic losses that is hysteresis losses and eddy current losses Some of the results performed by this project are shown here. Hope you all of you guys enjoy this video. If you enjoy this video, please hit subscribe button.